These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up, everybody? Yeah, it's Grim Green back here today, and I'm starting my review for this, the Oxva Slim SQ Pro CRC, which I know is a really like specific thing. The CRC, I believe, is for Canada and maybe some other countries, but definitely Canada. Before I get any fingerprints on it or anything, I just want to show you I'm going with this like carbon fibery gold guy. It's not usually my style, but this looks sick. Here's the thing, and here's the weird thing is I didn't know that the Oxva Slim CRC SQ Pro was like going to be a thing. I got the Oxva Slim CRC separately from my Oxva Slim SQ Pro. The pods just happen to be compatible and I kind of prefer the CRC pods. So lately I've been using the CRC pods in an Oxva SQ Slim Pro anyway. And it's honestly freaking delightful. These pods are top notch. That means that I think I can just take this pod, put it in here, immediately change the theme to the spaceship guy and have a toot. Cheers. It's a shame that these Oxva CRC pods aren't more widely available because so far they're kind of my preferred Oxva pod. I know I've been using that one, but let's set up a fresh one. This one has the spring-loaded filling system that is awesome. 0.8, 16 watts, first puff on the puff counter, cheers. Yep, it's crispy. It's got that good CRC Oxva flavor. Here's the thing, uh, I've been using this. Already, before it arrived, before I knew this was even a real kit, I've been using this exact setup for about a week already. I generally go for longevity. This has 1,031 puffs on this CRC pod. Let's see if this one can go 1,031 puffs. I feel like I'm already pretty familiar with the Slim Pro SQ, so there shouldn't be a whole hell of a lot of surprises here, but this is a pod review, so today's just day one. Technically, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna keep using this. I'll catch up with you guys at a latter date. All right, well, here is the latter date as promised. And let's be honest, it was really, really very easy to get this over 1,031 puffs. I think I did a little over 400 puffs in just one weekend. And here we are at 1,084 puffs. This pod literally still feels almost brand new. I'm going to say a lot of the similar things right now that I said in the other Oxva Slim SQ Pro video and the Oxva Slim CRC video. These just vape good. The SQ Pro, probably my favorite battery far and away from Oxva. I like the little animations. I like the little things they show you on the screen. I've been rocking the pink and the blue one for a while now. And this little carbon fiber and gold guy, just as slick, just as cool. It feels substantial, you know? It's got a little bit of weight to it, a little bit of heft to it. It's got a little bit of like a techie feel to it. But here is my word of warning. These pods vape great. I mean, undeniably awesome. The flavor, good. Crispy, crackly, just a wonderful vape. The airflow, nice and smooth. I have not had any issues with the auto switch, literally in any capacity. But here is my word of warning, and this is a bigger word of warning than it was on the other Oxva CRCs. Do not bite these. Do not bite these. I feel like I'm being pranked or something because I'm a bitey guy. I bite drip tips. I bite tips of pods literally all the time. I love hands-free vaping. And when these CRC pods came in and they were so easy to bite, I just dove right in. But I'm telling you, don't. My older CRC pod that I've been using and vaping and biting and vaping and biting has become useless. And that bums me out because the coil on the inside is still beautifully, deliciously flavorful. But the little rubber coating that goes on the outside that I just couldn't stop biting comes completely off. I can still vape it like this, but it's awkward, gross, super uncomfortable. I've actually literally had to watch myself because I just, without even thinking, I'll just bite down and bite down and I go, nope, remember, the rubber thing comes off and then it's gonna ruin this really great pod that you've really been enjoying. I'm not gonna drag this out much longer, but I am getting continually more impressed the longer that I vape these Oxva CRC pods. They go up to 1,000 puffs with no problem. They go to 2,000 puffs, no problem. They get to 3,000 puffs. 
many times with no problem. I vape a shit ton of pods. I rank pods many times throughout the year. And I said this about those Nevox pods, and I'm going to say it about these Oxva CRC pods. They're contenders. These, these could creep their way up into the top five in a pods ranked. And I wouldn't be shocked really in any way if an Oxva Zlim pod eventually did make it to the Hall of Fame. I honestly just feel like it's a matter of time. I gave the Oxva Zlim SQ Pro nine banana stickers. I gave the Oxva Zlim CRC also nine banana stickers. So there's really no reason why the Oxva Zlim CRC Pro SQ shouldn't also receive nine banana stickers. If I could just get that rubber tip to stay on there, if I could get these to be a little bit more durable, like if Oxva would let me bite these, but then the rubber wouldn't fall off, 10 banana stickers, maybe more than 10. Yeah, it, 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 when the rubber starts coming off, it just starts getting weird. It like starts affecting the draw. When I drag, I can feel air kind of like coming in where it's not supposed to come in like underneath that little rubber cap. I'm gonna start rambling literally any second. So I'm gonna stop myself and say, I can't tell you exactly how much these cost. And I can't tell you exactly where to get them. I would be shocked to see these over $20. This, in my opinion, is a top tier, top quality, just damn hell ass good starter kit, pod kit system. Hang on though, real quick. Do you smoke cigarettes like right now, like currently? You should probably switch. I believe in you. It's, it's, it's never been easier. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is literally an entire world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm going to put some links to just science and just education. This has been a grim green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 1030 and I'm uh, just going to smoke. So. I kind of can't believe that this is a hundred <laughs> dang heck butt. <laughs>